Fish, eh? <laughs> That's interesting because you've probably seen a lot of things on these dive attempts lately, these free dive things going on. Fantastic, really. Hi. And I'm going to try and attempt one later on in the week. And um, one of my part time jobs here, I think, puts me in good stead for that. Thank you. Well, as you know, I've been cleaning this place for, for a while now and I've, I've learned so much. Yeah. But there's still a few questions I need to know. I mean, what's the difference between a fish and a man? Yeah, well, the, the advantage that a fish has when it goes underwater is that it can breathe the gas in the water. And so by doing that, it can control its buoyancy, the gas inside its, but, inside its body. But humans, we breathe our, our air at the surface and take it down. Uh, as you know, I'm attempting a dive record later in the week. Right. Um, what kind of training should I be doing for that sort of thing? Well, you should be trying to spend as much time underwater as you can, just just training your breath hold so that you can uh, extend your time under. You can probably start in a, in a pool, shallow water, and then move on to deeper and deeper depth. With freediving, the changes are um, with, with gas aren't so much as scuba diving, but what will happen is the gas inside their chest will actually have pressure exerted on it the deeper they go, and, and it will try to contract into a smaller bubble, right? if you imagine as one bubble, and then as you come back up it returns to normal size and shape. That's all very well Paul, but how about seals and things like that that go deep? They're not fish are they? No, no. Seals and um, other marine mammals have become well adapted to, to diving deep and they have an advantage that they can actually slow down their heart rate and their whole, their whole body is functioning so that they can stay down for lengthier times. So, so I'll need to do that really, I'll have to try and slow my heart rate down a bit. To, yeah, to it comes with a bit of training. training.